Hello everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Gunmetal Arcadia Zero. From Minor Key Games, actually from half of Minor Key Games, uh, J. Kyle Pittman is uh, making this on his own. This is a prequel to the upcoming, well, I think it's a setup kind of, uh, to the upcoming Gunmetal Arcadia. This is a game he made uh, via Patreon, actually. And it's only available, or was only available through Patreon and the May Humble Monthly. I don't believe it's available in any other capacity right now, and I don't think you can get it through Humble right now either. Um, but they were talking about potential plans of releasing it. So this is a short action platformer. Um, there's obviously a story going on here. Uh, this is a short action platformer. Uh, very Zelda 2-ish, I would say. I've played actually a fair amount of it so far. Um, you see I'm on chapter 6. But I will start a new game here. We'll play through it. Especially because it's not available right now. I thought I would show it off a bit. Um, and maybe get people kind of hyped up for Gunmetal Arcadia when it comes out. Gunmetal Arcadia is actually going to be a roguelike. So something's up at the fortress. Don't wait up, alright. I'm playing this with a uh, PS4 controller. I know it's got uh, 360 prompts here. So we can ask a whole bunch of things here. We can ask about Starling. It's our sister. We are Virio. Seekers would put in a good word for us. See, he'll ask about the Vanguard. So, our mother was in the Gunmetal Vanguard. Yeah, let's see about the Seekers. So these are kind of two different factions, um, and I'm not sure if there is an ultimate uh, kind of split, but I know you can uh, get equipment for, from one or the other, and they're slightly different items. So we have our first sword. So there's essentially um, a whole bunch of different weapon types. Um, Essentially, the longer the weapon, the slower it swings and the more damaging it is. The shorter the weapon, the faster it is, but um, less damage, less range. So go up here and get some loot. So there's a couple of different loot types. Uh, see if I can see. Yeah, so gems are basically, you pick them up, but they can be sold for money. However, you can kind of do this in two ways. You can either sell them for a moderate amount, or you can wait until you find a gem dealer and get much, much more for them. So it's kind of a balance. If you need the money immediately, you can sell them to anyone. But if you want to get the most out of it, you definitely want to wait for a gem dealer. Yep, barge into your house, taking your stuff. Yeah, so I thought I would do this little uh, retro game playthrough. I don't think it'll be too many episodes. Might either do a level per... Oh, this is a sub-weapon. I believe it's up in... Or is it a button for that? No, it's a button for that. Oh, which tells us right here. So you use stars, they're basically Castlevania hearts. Is the best way to put it. I'll get it. Alright, Gunmetal Vanguard is this way. Hello there. So we could buy stuff. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Grants, faction bonuses. I wonder if I don't buy this and I go for the other one? I don't actually know if that's possible. The first time I just kind of grabbed this immediately and and went with it. And I never really bothered to see if there was a difference. I 
We get some bombs there too. I'm actually going to see. Eh, it might not actually matter. I might not be able to do anything with that, so I'll probably just grab the Vanguard one here. Oop, definitely want those. Bombs can be used for offensive purposes, or they can be used just to uh, open walls and things like that. Oh yeah, I'll equip that. So we get a discount from these guys now. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually get a Seeker uh, medallion of the same sort. Certainly one way to find out. Yeah, so use a bomb. I mean, you might also know um, these developers, they made Super Win the Game and Eldritch. Um, there's one other game that I know that they made and I can't put my finger on it right now. Uh, Neon Struct was the other one they made. More recently, I believe. I'm also used to having uh, some upgrades here, so... Seem to be taking a little bit of extra damage. And money is pretty damn important. Uh, money kind of fuels the vast majority of your upgrades, so. Alright, it's a different weapon type. I believe this is the. I'm actually not sure which weapon it is. Yeah, so we get keys. Keys are used to open doors. Which weapon is this? Yeah, okay, it's the uh, side to side. Reminds me of the, kind of the horizontal version of the vacuum wave from Ninja Gaiden. Combat Bracers. Uh, so at all, pretty much most common shops we can buy a variety of things. Ammo, keys, uh, bombs, and there are weapons and special items. For 100 we can jump higher. This is also, uh, I really want to get the purse probably pretty fast. Uh, but I will get the combat bracers, and this what uh, will allow me to do vertical attacks. Yes. I don't think I'll buy anything else right now. The pinion is actually pretty solid, but I want to try to stick with yeah, so I can do a down stab and an up stab now. Very Zelda 2-ish. Um, yeah, I kind of want to stick with my base weapon as long as possible, so I can build up some money here. Hello there. Yeah, so let's see if we can sign up for the Seekers as well. I'm not actually sure if I can. Oh, I wonder... Yeah, so can I, um... There's also, I should note, uh... I'm not gonna have them, but... You can... Yeah, you can do the CRT simulations. Um, yeah, so you can get it looking very, very much like uh, classic. I mean, it's it's really, really well done. Uh, it's very accurate. There's tons and tons of settings for it, but for the sake of this um, and for my eyeballs, I really do prefer the uh, just the very standard high res sort of deal. No room for Vanguard sympathizers. So I wonder if that's just a. Um, I kind of lost my chance there. Not sure. Actually, we'll get the pinion, though. Uh, yeah, I'll sell that. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Oops. So this is uh, kind of a little longer reach of a weapon, a little more powerful. It's kind of a neat concept. You see we one-shot these guys now. We don't level up or anything like that. It's all uh, item-based upgrades. Big slime in the next room. Yeah. I can get this. So you see those skulls that kind of signifies it's going to be a boss fight of some sort. This is just a mini boss, so it is pretty simple. And we get full health. I believe you do get uh, full HP upgrades as well as you go on, if I'm remembering correctly. Are you a gem sealer? Okay, so now we want to sell gems because now they are 
worth much more. And that's all gems are for. They're only for selling. However... What I do need to do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get... The, um... The small purse, or I'm gonna cap out here. There we go. Oops, I wanted to sell all. There we go. Yeah, so now I can... If I got 200, I could do that as well, but... Not gonna happen right now. Uh, there's not a lot of farming you can do. I think some of this stuff respawns, but... I can also duck and just drop a, uh, a bomb. There we go, like that. So every so often you walk into rooms like this, the music will change and the door locks. You have to clear all the enemies to get out. Usually you get some sort of treasure for it. We could do a Scrooge McDuck type of bounce. It's also on my mind since the time of this recording, the actor. Just, uh, the voice actor for Scrooge McDuck just passed away. He was, uh, I think, 94. Thank you for those. General goods. Let's see. I do want to get... Ah, uh, do I want to buy a key? I don't think I need to buy a key right now. There are a couple of places later where um, you will need to have bought keys or you won't have enough. Of course, there are places to buy keys pretty much everywhere. I should use my item because I am at, I was at full stars there. This is kind of weird. Circling weapon. Actually, kind of hard to use. Uh, sub weapons tend to be very good against bosses, though, if you just kind of save up and spam. Seems to work out fairly well. Hello there. Why should we fear the agents of chaos? Good question. I am capped on bombs at the moment, too. Alright, we've got another locked room. Not too difficult. You can't attack on a ladder, though, so. There we go. And we got a treasure chest. What do we got? Just some money. Ah, uh, quite a bit of money, actually. I got up to 130 now. Where did that exactly... Oh, okay. I'm not quite sure where that took me. So here's Starling. So Jay and Ren are out there. Uh, yeah, about that. We're going. I'm really glad that the, uh... Is this a secret area? Thought it might be. Um, I'm really glad that the ladder climbing is very quick, too. And, I mean, controls and everything, it's very, very smooth. Big enemies ahead, sharpen your swords. I mean, hint, we got a boss fight coming up. Uh, let's see, I probably want to go down this ladder first. There we go. Ah, so here's a locked door now. Unfortunately, I don't have a key. I can go back and get a key, I think. It might be worthwhile. There's also a chance that one of these could drop a key, but it's pretty unlikely. Very rarely uh, see keys dropped. Unless they're meant to drop, basically. Watch out for the bolts it shoots and aim for the head. I will backtrack and grab a key. Where's the nearest shop? It wasn't that far, was it? I don't think we take falling damage either. It's a good time to try it now. Let's see, was this a shop? Or was this a locked... Okay, yeah, you're the general good. So we'll buy a key. 
Uh, yes. You see here, they have limited stuff as well. We can also buy, um... Small bandolier is actually very important. Small satchel... Yes. There's items I want to buy um, that cost more. But I think this is a good idea right now. So now we can carry significantly more stars, significantly more bombs. Um, I'm going to be ahead of the key game. This should give me some advantage just kind of stacking up pretty quickly. And hopefully I'll prevent me from doing backtracking. Now there was that um, that jump upgrade that I would really like to get. It'll show up again later, but um, definitely would like to have that as soon as possible, basically. All right, open this door and come in here. What are you? Oh, you may rest here. Well, okay, I guess we didn't really need to do that. So there are inns as well. You can stay at inns to heal up. But fortunately, that was kind of a waste of a key and some money, but I don't really want to spend the, the money just for half a heart heal. Should be okay against this boss. All right, first boss. The Befallen. I should... Yeah, so I have this kind of weird wave attack. And it does quite a bit of damage to him. It's just a little difficult to hit. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, so he's already toast. First boss, not very difficult. And we'll get a full health upgrade. And there's Ren. It's dangerous out there. You kids need to stay in the districts. So they're going off out on their own. And they think it's best to lock down the city, so... And that ends... Level 1! Or Chapter 1. So Chapter 2... And... Oh, you have these little containers here. You can break them for stuff. I feel bad about breaking the smiling containers, but... Yeah, so we'll continue this next time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like this and you want to see more, click like. Helps a lot. Let's me know these things. Subscribe if you want to see more of it, and I will see you soon.